The way you walk can have a big factor in contributing to your bunion. Ideally, we walk with our feet pointed straight forward, but it's pretty common for people to stand with one or both feet turned out. You may notice if you turn your foot out more on one foot that that's the side that has the bunion. So ideally, we walk with our feet straight naturally without having to think about it, without having to correct it. So then when we push off, this is a healthier pattern and it's healthier for our foot and our toes to push straight off like that. But if we walk with our foot turned out and push off at this angle, this can contribute to a bunion. This um, continual push off with the foot angled out like that can contribute to the bone building up here and can also contribute to that angle that the bunion makes. So do consider your walking pattern and there's a lot you can do to change your walking pattern. I don't recommend thinking about changing your walking pattern while you're walking. It takes 0.6 to 0.8 seconds to take one step. That there's a lot going on in that short amount of time, too much going on to try to really change it. It's a subconscious pattern. So ideally what we do is we focus on a particular segment of walking at a time and then we don't notice and focus on what the foot is doing, what is the leg doing, what are our hips doing and our pelvis, what is our spine doing. You can even focus on your arms and shoulders at a certain segment of our walking pattern. And as you practice these segments of your walking pattern, then when you walk, notice what changes you made. Does your posture feel different? Do you notice that your feet are a little more straighter now that you've been practicing different parts of your walking pattern? You may notice that your walking feels more like it's flowing instead of noticing maybe a limp or some kind of restriction when you walk. Um, so don't worry, there's a lot you can do and we will be learning some of that in this course.